Hello and welcome to another special video review and today we've got the TransArt BWM07 Metal Jungle Metal Mouse Scout. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot to take in here, but uh, yeah, this is actually Transmetal uh, Rat Trap from Beast Wars series uh, made by TransArt and it's an amazing figure. This is a truly worthy of a masterpiece looking uh, rat trap. So yeah, uh, we got a couple of uh, QR codes here for going to see the TransArt um, original uh, website. But we also have the English instructions as video. Because yeah, the figure itself doesn't come with any instructions. Luckily, it's not that of a complicated transformation. So yeah, we got the art here. Not much else on the box. So let's stop wasting time with the box and open it up. So nothing in here. We have the figure right here and a bunch of stuff. So yeah, let's take this out first. So we have a couple of uh, papers to protect the figure. Uh, we have for an accessory a tail and this one is articulated. So it's more of a all rubberized with a um, sort of wire inside it. So you can bend it and it stays. But it's all sort of like a rubbery type deal. And then we have uh, 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 this. Now this, it's all in die cast. So it's pretty much the same tail, but uh, die cast and smaller. So this will be more for a weapon type, I think. Well, yeah, very die cast and yeah. <laughs> and next up we have the figure right here. Let's just take it out of the package. Make it stand. You have the heel spurs to flip out first because the figure is absolutely back heavy. Like, <laughs> very, very back heavy. So, let's put it here for now. Uh, let's toss this aside. Alright, what else? Uh, we have <laughs> this, uh, a pair of gloves for handling the figure because the figure is all very uh, metallic plastic so it le it's very like fingerprint uh, magnet so they give us <laughs> a pair of gloves which is intriguing but first we have the stand so open this up and there you go so we have all the pieces we have a weight again let's try to open it up I'm just gonna open this up the violent way. <laughs> you know, so we have this, which is a weight. Come on. Come on, take it. There you go. So the weight goes inside the um, stand right here, right here, I'm trying to plug it in, it's kind of hard, is there a way to, no, there you go, so we have the weight, and then we have like uh, this thing here, which plugs in here, and we have uh, these two, uh, we either have like this one, this I think is for the rat mode, and this one, I think it's for the uh, robot mode or vice versa. I'm not a fan of the stand, so I'm not going to really use it. But yeah, it's very bare basic. So, yeah, let's get this. <laughs> uh, next up, we have a bunch of accessories. Oh, this one is still hooked. There you go. There you go. Move this. Come on. There you go. And just flip everything down. Come on. Why is everything fighting me today? There you go. So we have a bunch of accessories. So first up we have his pistol. And the pistol looks amazing. Very beautiful painted color. All metallic. With some blue and yellow orange accent. Looks very nice. I love the paint of this. And of course he can hold it in his hand. 
So we have this, we can peg it in. Either hand works. You don't even have to close the finger, it holds. But there you go. Love the gun. <laughs> Next up we have a uh, sort of a uh, blast fix. More, well, they're more like mufflers effect because you can't really use them for weapons. They're really for the mufflers. So we'll come back to this in uh, later on. Uh, what else? We have these handles. Now, what are the use of those? Uh, this is for the shields because you can pop out the wheel like this, and this makes a shield. So you can use this and plug it in. There you go. And now you can put it in his hand. So you come over here, pass this through in, and then peg it in his hand. Oops. Uh, like this. And like this. Yeah, is it pegging in? Oh yeah, it's pegged in. So there you go, you have the handle. And now you can just plug in the shield. And now I just unpegged it. But you get the idea. You have a shield now. <laughs> so yeah, you have two because you have two of those. Uh, next up, we have these handles. So these are for holding the spear. The, 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 the tail, I guess. So one is wider for the rat mode. And you can plug this in here too. So uh, 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 there you go. So for the rat mode, you have this. And for the spear mode, you have this one. So this one goes with the metal one. And you can plug it in. And then you take this part right here also and plug it in. And now you have a sort of sword spear thing. <laughs> so yeah. It's cool that we have uh, choices. But uh, I'm not a real fan of the, having two tails to interchange during modes. So, you know, what you can do if we remove the shield, oops, the handle too, is that, oops, uh, the figure can actually both can hold the uh, sword thing. So you have the spear. But, I don't know, I don't mind having a bigger one and he can hold it normally with his hand, so... Yeah, still cool. <laughs> so uh, that's probably just what I'm gonna do, just have the normal rat tail has a weapon like this. So, yeah. Anyway, that's pretty much it for those. Oops, just keeps falling. Yeah, that's the main problem with the, the uh, figure. The, it's very, very back heavy, but the heel spur that holds it are kind of loose. So they're not that great. So yeah, let's put the accessories on the side. And we still have um, a card to take a look at over here. So we have this big card, which is again, just the instructions and the website links. And we also have a playing card, which is a plastic looking, the same art as the box. And we have the stats. So. Yeah, that's pretty much it, and we have the gloves. Now I have somewhat big hands, so I'm not sure if it's gonna fit, so... Uh, yeah, it's very tight, but it uh, it stretches and works. So, I'm gonna try and do the review with those. <laughs> there you go. So we have ooh, the shield, now I can't just even pick it up. It's so slidey, but uh, yeah, it cleans up very nice. So yeah, we got the shield, and yeah, like we have nice paint detail with some orange and uh, the red of it. Uh, let's try and put it back in. Uh, there you go. So we have Rat Trap right here, and he is just incredible. Like all the paint, he's like fully 100% painted almost, except for like the back here. But it looks so damn good. So, yeah, it looks very, very cartoon accurate. Uh, the head. head is really good looking. I wish the mouth could open. Oh, it does! Wow, yeah! The head and the mouth does open. I wasn't even... I didn't even know that. 
yeah these love are <laughs> hard to use oh yeah there you go so the head can tilt left and right rotate no problem we have the shoulder pads which are like the fake head we'll come back to this later we got ball joint at the uh, shoulder we got double jointed at the elbow the wrist can rotate the fingers can open and close and we have also a palm rotation well a joint uh, we do have a uh, rotation at the waist like this but it's really tight uh, there you go we do have ab crunch the leg can do the split like this can move forward it's very tight the joint so forward backward not a lot because it, it can actually go like quite a lot down but because of the backpack obviously it's very limited uh, we do have rotation uh, just up uh, above the knee the knee bends more than 90 degrees like it's on the double jointed there we go we do have ankle tilt oops if you unpick this so ankle tilt and go up down and the heels can also move up and down and the heels is only the main problem of the figure it's kind of loose so it's hard to make the figure stand so yeah there you go and rat trap looks so damn good here this is pretty much the best rat trap you could get ever so far it's just amazing uh, for comparison we have the uh, generation rat trap here we have uh, which was this, the, the oh, I forgot the name the, the third party one the mini one and we have the uh, Earthrise one So is it Earthrise? I think yeah, I think it's Earthrise so boink. Earthrise very small, <laughs> but yeah, here's all my Rat traps so they are very nice, but yeah the transmittal one Wow I wasn't expecting uh, that much of quality figure. He is so gorgeous. But like I said, he's very back heavy, so be mindful of that. And the heels are kind of loose. They're not like super loose, but they barely can hold this weight. You can see I just put them down and the heel just moved. So, yeah. One more gimmick that he has. Let's remove the gun. Is that hidden in his forearms? Both of them. You can open this up. It's kind of hard with the gloves. You can open this up. And you have hidden right here. You have the sort of like binoculars or the bombs. I think it's bombs. So we have tiny grenades in here. <laughs> like I said, it's kind of hard to play around with the gloves. But uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Tiny bombs hidden inside the forearms, just like in the TV show. And you just slide it back in, there you go, and close this back in, and there you go. They stick out from the underneath, but it's not that bad. It's uh, pretty good. So, yeah, there you go, with Rat Trap, Transmittal. So maybe we can go with the uh, Transformation now. So, Transformation, uh, <laughs> where to start? Uh, Alright, first up. Move the heels up like this, and get that out of the way right now, and flip the feet up like this. So we got that. Uh, next up, uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm not sure where to go with that. Come to the shoulder right here. You can see that we can unplug the shoulder from the body like this. So let's do the same on the other side. You may want to lift the shoulder here and unplug. So the whole body, next up, uh, Lift this up. Oh yeah, now the whole body can move down like this. So the backpack is opened up like this. Uh, what you want to do next? Lift this up. Lift this up to clear. Take the wheels and open them up like this. Come to uh, back to the torso like right here. Oops. What you want to do uh, is um, rotate the big head because you have the small head and you have the big head. You want to rotate the big head all the way around to the front like this while the head is down here you can now rotate the torso like this lift these up a little bit bring the head down as you lift these up uh, the head will be able to go down otherwise you won't be able 
and as you lift these up you want to peg them in together which is hard to do with these gloves there you go and the head fits in perfectly and the fake head and the real head is like that all right uh, next up you want to take these panels here and you want to flip them like this don't flip them the other way around it won't work so you really need to flip them like this so flip this up like this we have that now make sure this panel is up now what you want to do is rotate the arms in and be really careful because I've seen a lot of people breaking these struts that hold the arms but what you want to do now is just rotate them down so that this part metal comes out and you want to make it like so it fits perfectly here and when it's there you want to keep rotating the arm all the way down like this and you leave the arm up up straight like this so you can see it so let's do the same thing here so you rotate the arm inside or is it the other way you need to split them open then it rotates want like this and then you want to rotate down so that this part goes here like this and once it's here you hold it and you continue to press down like this and you lift the arm up so you have this configuration the fist you want to rotate them around leave the hands open and rotate the hands like this make sure they are there like that so we have that config now next up you want to lift the whole thing here and come to this part right here you want to flip this down flip this up and when it's up you want to take the uh, right paddle this one on the side and flip it open like this which unlocks the whole thing on the other side like this so you have that next up you want to open this panel this panel and leave it like that I got all the accessories in the way next up you want to bring the body completely down like this and you want to come over here and slide this down so that it it's sort of like the brown and the red connects to each other it won't hold too much but you want to try and make it a hold as much as possible next up you have the arms like this and the legs like this and you want to bend the legs at the uh, thigh like this and like this and spread them once they are in like this what you want to do now is like on the heel you have this tiny hole which will plug into this part right here there's a tiny peg right here so let's try and do this do this and this one is plugged in you can see and do the same thing on the other side so over here Oop. and yeah what the glove is pain <laughs> this one's plugged and this one doesn't want to yeah I'm sorry with the gloves it's really hard <laughs> and voila so now both feet are plugged into that part right here yeah, it works really good it's cool to have the glove to not leave any fingerprints but uh, yeah it's kind of hard <laughs> all right now once the feet are plugged in you want to bring the the hands and bend them at the elbow like so like so and maybe like this so bring in that gaze close the fists oh I've unplugged everything Jeez. Come on. It's really important to have those heels plugged in because it's pretty much what's holding pretty much a whole figure together once it's plugged in. So, ah, there we go. So we have that configuration now. Make sure the connector here is, well, the red is connected to the brown part here. Come back here. Now you want to take this part, close this, take this part, Flip it all the way around, like so. 
this will plug in here this panel will go sort of like underneath but this one will sort of uh, slide on top of it and connect over here so that's perfect and bring this all the way down and now these panels will plug on each side these so you have sort of tabs here and connect we got one we got two so these are connected and yeah that's the part that I want to warn with whoop, this panel here needs to be lifted up so like this and now this part will tab in here like so so we have all of that con connected we're almost done so take the feet here untab them from there and just put them like this same thing on the other side connect like this as for the feet now over here you want to unpack them from the wheels the shield slide them down and make sure they tab in there you go now you extend and then you bring this out and this will peg into that hole here so bring it here there you go it's not a it doesn't feel solid but it's really actually pretty solid so do the same thing on the other side lift this up slide you can pull this out and slide this down and connect it there you go it, that part here uh, can fall easily so it plugs in back in uh, very easily but just be mindful of that then you pull this out and plug it in on the side and there we go we have rat trap all transformed let's bring this out <laughs> so all you have to do now is plug in the tail in here and voila we have wow, rat trap all done and he is pretty awesome very big figure very big rat but really cool uh, articulation the head can move up down the legs can rotate at ball joint here the paws here and the elbow I guess and the feet has like a double joint the wheels can spin the tail can move as I said and the head, uh, oh, uh, the head also has like a jaw that, uh, that opens and the tongue can move independently also. So that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the rat. <laughs> Which is really awesome. Really big. It's really big, but it's really nice. As for comparison, here we have the Generation. Which is a tad bigger. Uh, we have the... Uh, third party one that I forgot the name <laughs> and we have the uh, Earthrise so we have we got a nice uh, a little rat pack <laughs> which is pretty cool and there's also a uh, the, the vehicle mode because of course you can transform into a vehicle which is you know where the wheels comes in so what you want to do is just unpeg these just bring the legs up oh. Like I said, they are pretty tight, and you can see this pegged off. Like I said, they just peg in back in, and you just move the feet in, and make sure this tug is in, and still open this up, plug it back in. There you go. So open this up, slide this up, make sure it tabs in, like this, tuck the feet in, and plug back this in. So you have now the wheels, and as for the paws, you have like in between toes here, there's a this notch which will tap onto here. Like this. And you just flip this open like this. Just flip the, the paws up. So bring it this here. Bring this here. Tap it in. Bring the foot up. And yeah, next up you want to come over here. And this is where the muffler comes out. And this is where the, the thing comes in. So you can just... Make sure these tabs in. There you go. Uh, the other one tabs in. Oops, I lost the tail. Lost the tail. Uh, come on, plugs in. Oh wait, this seems to be on the other side. Seems to be like a, a one way only. Yeah, there you go. Fits more straight up, more perfectly. So there's only one way to plug them in. So there you go. You have the exhausts and you have the tail which doesn't hold too securely but there you go and yeah it does roll and that's pretty cool <laughs> so that's pretty much it for uh, 
the metal mouse from Transart. Very awesome figure. The paint job is just exquisite. The colors, everything is just perfect. It's just one of the best rat trap that we've ever had. Masterpiece. This, this is truly masterpiece worth it. So, yeah, highly, highly recommend this figure. It's just so awesome. I, I'm still in awe all the, the, the details. Uh, I really appreciate the gloves, but for transforming the figure is very hard with the gloves. I have big fingers, so that might be it, but yeah. <laughs> all the accessories, the guns, the uh, missiles, the, 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 the thing here, the swords. It's just so cool. It's just complete. That's a masterpiece grade rat trap transmetal. So yeah, go and pick it up. It's just an awesome figure. And uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Figure of the year for me. Contender for the figure of the years. <laughs> uh, otherwise, you know the song. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, blah, blah, blah. All right, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.